Hey everyone, Sean Fargo here for Mindfulness Exercises. I hope you're doing well. Here with my little puppy dog, Bella, at uh, the campus of UC Berkeley at the uh, College of Natural Resources. And I was just reflecting on uh, how mindfulness is a natural resource that we all have. It's not something that we have to buy. It's not something that only a few of us are born with. It's something that's available to us all. It's just this natural resource within to notice our moment to moment experience and to be able to sense into it without judging it, allowing ourselves to be with it. This is mindfulness. Um, you know, when we're relatively new to mindfulness, we can practice by uh, sensing into what seems obvious, what seems coarse. Um, you know, like tactile sensations, uh, shapes, colors, sounds, you know, just noticing the uh, shapes and colors of the trees, the smell of the freshly cut grass, um, the size of things, um, the sounds. And over time, when we practice really just kind of tending to what's actually here without trying to change it or uh, fix it or react to it. When we have practice really sensing it and being with it, we can then move on to more subtle experiences, um, to sensations of emotions in the body. Like how does um, sadness feel physically around the heart or the belly? How does anger feel around the head or the chest? Um, how does happiness feel around the face, around the eyes? So really sensing into the internal energies of the body, sensing into the elements of the body of uh, liquid and uh, flesh and bone, temperature. And over time, we can start to begin to, to notice more subtle energy um, really sensing into qualities of spirit. Um, we can sense into intentions and even the sort of construct of who we think we are, or what we think we are. Are we separate from the rest of the world or are we fully a part of it in an interconnected, interdependent way? in a way that we actually feel that connection. So mindfulness can really um, open us to all sorts of new experiences and ways of being and relating to this experience that we call life um, that can help us to open and connect from the heart, you know, from an embodied place where we can allow reality to be as it is without us getting upset or reactive or judgmental. You know, there's a place for anger, there's a place for sadness, there's a place for grief, but can we be with those emotions without judging them to be good or bad, right or wrong, without trying to fix them or think that it should be different, but instead allowing these energies to flow through us like the wind flows through the trees or the clouds float through the sky. So this quality of mindfulness is a natural resource that we all have to be able to tend to any given moment with the confidence that it's going to be okay. We can be with it, with this sense of acceptance, allowance, and ultimately the sense of peace. Um, and we can use that information that we're sensing into to help us respond in an appropriate way. We can uh, really be with our puppies, we can be with each other, uh, with this embodied presence, which is really a, a gift um, and can help others feel safe around us, more open and more connected. So. Hope you're doing well, and uh, we'll see you again next time.